Hardcore mode where nothing's easy. Welcome back to Game of Thrones. This is the Sons of Winter episode 4, I believe. And it's so exciting because so much bad stuff has happened already in episode 3 that I'm just like, oh my god, there's got to be some good news this time. We, we can't have any more bad news. There can't be. What? Apparently there is some bad news. Oh, I'm screwed. Obviously. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest exactly. men. Exactly. Loyal men. Uh. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw uh, everything. Well, go he was on, there. Yeah, yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. What? You really? two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or oh, he's defending you for... For some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die and just... I yeah. decide what justice is. <sighs> Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. And Let's I didn't go. I didn't even stab him in the heart. I, I knew stabbed it was a mistake him. to make you a ranger. On the Cross arm. Finger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. I would Garrett. love to kiss John Snow. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crestus. John, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted to fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crestus. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Whoa, okay, nice well, all right, thank you, John Snow. All right, Go begging to your that. gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. <sighs> screwed, I'm screwed. John Snow, please. It's not the fault. I believe you. Is there nothing I can do? No. We're down a man. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Unbelievable. It already starts off bad. This is great. And I could say this. I am scared for Mira's life. Still. 
she should be dead like three episodes ago. But I don't know. I think I even made it even worse for her because she has the uh, the decree. Well, we'll find out. Oh, we get to meet the news. That's my girl. Sons of Winter. Whose sons? What Winter? Blah blah. You know that such. I don't know any of those kind of jokes. Needing the second sons from Daenerys. It's gonna be hard. If I know Daenerys, she ain't gonna give it. Do you know it. how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ash's oh, look is shit. like... Fuck. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Yeah, he's smaller than the other one. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Uh, duh. Go on. Not a good idea, Asher. I'm inclined to agree with her. Nice visceron. Good visceron. Good girl. Uh. You're brave at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You Are claim you? you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I have this. Rogan. How did you get that? I think she knew what straight away. To him? If you've hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever hmm. he likes. He wouldn't harm anyone. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Yeah, Beska, uh... <laughs> Why the did you come here? <laughs> You've been polite. Oh, Accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, uh. but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me, 
The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must oh, be yeah. something I can do to convince you. As Please, we speak, Viserai, my men just, prepare just to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer. Ah, uh, Beska. Croft? Beska doesn't want to do it. And she knows, Maybe. she knows That's something. It. Your grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And yeah, Pesca here, survived. She has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? Oh, wow. That, that was yes. brought up anyway. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asha, please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you. Or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two uh, will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Well, he's injured anyway. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Well, I tried, Beska, and he brought it up, so my hands are tied. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? Hmm. Hmm. What's the problem with you and Marine, anyway? Doesn't matter now, does it? Beska. Get your armor patched up in uh, here. I wanted Extra to know. Extra if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. I want to know. Long time since we had a piss bucket. <laughs> I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more. Vesca, I need to know. Can I talk to her? Because I need to know what's up. Were you a former slave? Is that what's going on? It has to be. Was she, is she a former slave owner? Ooh, that would be ugly. <laughs> Ooh, now he's fighting now. Good, this is great. Curse this bloody leg. Hey, it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try oh, something I answer that different. One quick. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. You surprise me, Roylan. What are you doing? Come at me. <laughs> Bring your you serious? down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Oh, 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 we're doing this right now. Okay. 
Oh. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Nice. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. No, we're good. My lord, sorry to interrupt. I think he's healing. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Ah, uh, she has that look like. Uh, Lady Elena, fuck. I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Uh, Roderick. It's, it's bad news. Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't <laughs> mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We are to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Yes, well, um, that's why I came, actually. Uh. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. Of course. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and and that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I end Albatrodor and marry his son Griff instead. Oh. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. Yo, I can't let this happen. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griff is horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get no, to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. Yo. This is what I'm talking about. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. Yo. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. I would love that. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want grip. Uh. Oh. I need a second to think here. What are the possibilities? The only thing that's stopping me is the fact that the council. There is somebody who might already know about this. Is it possible Royland? I would like to tell her about it, but I don't think I have a choice up here. <sighs> the simple thing is yes or no. All right, let's check. Let's check it out. Please promise me you'll do this. Mm. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. 
I don't want any of this. Uh, Will you help me? I'm sorry. I can't I do it. Make that promise. I can't do that promise. You're a bloody coward. Arthur, would you give us a moment? A moment? I know you have to think of your family, but... I don't have a choice here, Roderick. The thought of him touching me. Calling me I his know. own. I know. I won't live like that. We don't have to murder Griff. I can use those soldiers another way. How? I've thought about it, and this is the only way to be sure. What else could you do to stop it? I know it's... It's drastic. Yeah. I'll use those men to take down the Whitetails. But I'll do it the right way. But will that be enough? With Lud out of power, you won't have to marry his son. All right. The guard is yours. Thank you, Helena. I just hope that when the time comes, you'll do what must be done. I guess part of me still hoped that when this was over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again, like <laughs> we used to. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Aww. I think I chose the right choice. I had no idea that I could use the guards in a different way. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this era. Ooh, Mira. We'll get to that next time, guys. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.